Hello everyone and welcome to another video and today I'm going to be going over the Aurora lineup of ships for Star Citizen. So I'm going to start over here and work my way around. So this is the Aurora MR which I believe is the starter variant of the Aurora. It is built to carry light cargo. Um, all the Auroras are very similar will detail what they're what they have on them that is different um i'm having a hard time remembering each aurora from each other because they're all very very similar and they all have a very very reasonable price point they're all very inexpensive um so i'm gonna get in here and just show you guys the cockpit if i can i cannot oh there we go this is a little weird. You have to climb right around the ship's uh, the ship's seat to get in. And you got the you got the wonky. Camera. You can see the heads up display there. It's nice. It works well. Um, and when you get out, you have to slide by the seat again. A little bit of clipping there. But as a starter ship, the Aurora is, it's more effective as a starter ship in the theory of things than the Mustang. The Mustang will be, um, it'll be better for the next little while just seeing it is a more combat savvy ship, whereas the Aurora can carry cargo. So cargo is really implemented, the Aurora takes a backseat to the Mustang. But I would say an Aurora is definitely a good ship to have. They're good. They're effective. They're the workhorse of, uh, of Star Citizen. They don't do anything, any one thing incredibly well. But they do a bunch of things moderately well. That's the first model. Uh, I believe that has the Storal box on it. Which is this big, uh, big piece of silver here. Which is just how you carry cargo. Um, this one is the LX, which I believe is, um, is built more towards exploration, but if you look at it, it's just a slightly different paint scheme, same size one weapons on the front, um, same pod at the back. This one, yeah, this one I believe is the exploration one because the pod is longer, has to accommodate for fuel. And then you get back to the LN, which is the, it is the more luxurious version. It has missile pods, it's got still the same weapons, actually no it doesn't. It has uh, bulldogs instead of the M, M, or M, some things. The M M three A. So it has the bulldogs instead, and has the two missiles on the top. Still with the store all box. And I get back over here to the. Yes, which I believe is a more combat-oriented version of the Aurora. Seeing as it's got this little, this little bump here, I believe is reinforced armor. It's got long swords instead of um, instead of the other weapons that the others have. Still, all in all, same ship though. I believe this one's got no, it doesn't have missiles on it. It still has the cargo box though. Which is nice. I don't think it's as oh no, it's still still just as elongated as the other ones. And then this one here has the long swords as well. And it is the CL. I believe the CL, yes, the CL has the normal seat. It's just normal. Oh, and if I go back and look at the LN again, you see through the through the window, the seat is very, very nice. It's an upgraded seat from the other Aurora models. I don't know if that's a super cool thing, but it is, it is a kind of cool thing. So I'll just kind of glitch in here. Um, but yeah, you have a different seat. 
little bit nicer of a seat. I don't know. I don't mind it. It doesn't look too bad. And then I believe this one as well will have the nice seat. There's two of them that have the nice seat. Yes, this one here has the nice seat. Um, so in all honesty, my personal opinion towards the Auroras is they're all very cheap. They're all starter ships. So take a look at them for yourself. Um, figure out which one does what you want it to do. They all look nice. They all work kind of nice. <clears throat> but they're not they're not the best ships. They're ships you would get to start off in the game. And you would keep them just to just to basically get yourself started. Just to earn enough money to upgrade. These will be dirt cheap when the game goes live due to the fact that they're very, very inexpensive to make and they're RSI made, so they're very inexpensive to own. And there will be aurora, or there will be auroras everywhere, absolutely everywhere. It'll be near impossible to find a spaceport where there's not an aurora landed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.